Grotesque is a 2009 brutal Japanese horror film directed by Koji Shiraishi. It pushes the limits of torture porn and just horror and extreme violence to its bloody limits. Like, the film focuses on the torment and sadistic games inflicted upon a young couple by a psychopathic unnamed man in a surgeon outfit. It is very explicit and graphic in the way that it tortures these people and the narrative is just barely there, like it doesn't really have a story at all, but it's really disgusting and I um, have to talk about it to get it off my mind, so let's get into this. The film begins with a young couple, Kazuo and Aki, who are on their first date and they are portrayed as hopeful and happy. You know, they're, they're a new couple, I'm pretty sure this is their first date, and you know, they're beginning to explore their feelings for each other. There is a sense of just innocence with each other, and they're excited about, you know, what's going to happen. However, this is, um, quickly, um, you know, the... Their fun little time is quickly um, shattered because they're abducted by a deranged psychopath. So they wake up to find themselves chained in a dark, dilapidated basement. And the man who abducted them is a nameless, sadistic psychopath with no apparent motive other than to inflict as much pain and suffering as possible. He presents himself as calm and composed, which only really adds to how scary this is because he does not bloody flinch as he cuts the guy's balls off. And as he just methodically explains what he plans to do to them, he tells them that they must endure his sadistic torture um, to show that they are willing to survive for each other. You know, he wants to see their willpower. And before, you know, he gets to it, he asks them a bunch of questions, you know, you guys done the deed before? And they're just like, no. And he's like, oh, virgins. But yeah, um, so the majority of the film is focused on the torture sequences. It's bloody disgusting. They are extremely graphic and disturbing, and the captor subjects both of them to physical mutilation, including dismemberment, abuse, and psychological torment. And the scenes are filmed with just, like, just, like, a really mean way as well. Like, it's just, say, like, you know, the bit where he cuts his balls off. This, this is zooming in and zooming out, like... <laughs> And their screams of agony are just, like, painful as well, because, like, most of the time it's, like, dulled down because he's got, like, a gag in them. And as he just, you know, continues to do his fun little things, um, well, he suddenly stops, and then he's just like, alright, you know, we're done for now. Um, and so they wake up in, like, a, a regular-looking room, you know, their wounds are healing, and he, he tells them that, you know, if, if, you know, you... You live and you know you're all good and you're happy and you stay together, you know, you, you can leave, you know, I'll even give you some money as well. He's a dirty liar. <laughs> he is a dirty bloody liar. I, I mean, I wouldn't trust someone who kidnapped me and cut my balls off, I can't lie, but... Yeah, teacher, I guess, I guess these people aren't very smart. At one point, he does, like, offer them a chance to escape, but it's um, like, twice. But, you know... I guess he's just like, nah. So then the next, the, literally the scene after that, they're just back in the good old basement, and he's just like, yeah. Thought I'd let you go. <laughs> nah, we ain't done yet. I got, I got to cut your intestines out now. So he cuts, so I'm not going to show this on screen, because I don't think I'm allowed to. So he dismembers him, grabs part of his intestine, puts it onto a wall, then he has him walk across the room to his girlfriend with a pair of scissors. He cuts off his, like, intestines. Then he has to, like, cut away, like, his girlfriend to get her off the wall to save her. But there's a wire which he can't cut in the rope, so it was literally unbeatable anyway. And it is just disgusting. <laughs> this man is vomiting the whole time. And, like, sure, you know, I, I've seen gore. I, I can handle it. Vomit is not my thing, though. Like, you know, I can't just sit here and watch a guy throwing up for, like, a minute straight. Like, sure, you know, like every other human being, I've thrown up before. But, like, watching someone else just do it in this way while, while his bloody, like, guts hanging out. Um, yeah, that got me. <laughs> in the end, though, you know, um... 
it's even worse. <laughs> but we do get one moment, which was very funny, where, uh, <laughs> surprisingly, I know, in this very bleak and disgusting movie, we get a funny moment. So, the girl who was kidnapped is, you know, just hung against the wall while she watches her boyfriend die. Um, and then the man walks up to her, and then she starts just, like, insulting his mum. <laughs> She's like, yeah, your mum's a prostitute. I saw her on the street earlier. And it, I just, like, surprisingly, I just started dying of laughter at that bit, because that was really funny. Um, and so the man gets, like, all pissed off of her. He's like... My mum's beautiful, what are you talking about? So he grabs a chainsaw and he dismembers her and he chops her head off. But not before, somehow, her already chopped off head goes flying into the air and bites onto his neck. And then he falls to the ground, supposedly dead. But then the film ends with um, him burying their bodies and... Yeah, we all know why he's buried in their bodies. Because he survived and... He's probably just going to do this forever because, you know, it, it, we have a little scene showing... That he is literally just stalking his next pair of victims. And yeah, this film is a film that fully embraces the darker side of horror. Unlike your traditional torture porn fare, this doesn't really have the porn aspect, I guess, besides the guy's balls being cut off. Um, it's mainly just straight torture, and it is really violent and sadistic. I really don't know why I watched this, I just literally saw a video on it, and I'm like, okay. It looks like Hostel. I like Hostel. Hostel's funny. Let me give it a watch. Um, that was a mistake. So, yeah, I mean, the, the, the director of this movie, I, I don't know why he did this <laughs> um, But, you know, as I did say, the story is just non-existent. It's not really got a story. It's just really there for just shock value and just making you feel as disgusting as possible. Like, it's got some really good practical effects, though. That's a highlight. No, it's just really able to create a really, like, disturbing atmosphere. And the violence is not stylized or, like, glamorized. It's raw and brutal. Like, it makes it more unsettling and just worse to watch when you're watching a guy's balls being, like, nailed into a table before he chops his knob off. <laughs> I'm not lying, people, that happens in this. And, you know, the actors are really able to convincingly portray the agony that they get in this movie. Like, it's really just horrible to watch and the person who plays the doctor he delivers a great performance as the film's villain he's able to just be really calm while he as i said chops the guy's knob off um and he's just you know it's just disgusting <laughs> like okay don't get me wrong i love a good like early 2000s horror movie some of them are good but other ones i mean jesus christ like Okay, this is just, like, me, like, just speaking, like, randomly here. I bet the Doctor in this and the Doctor in the Human Centipede are best mates. I mean, sure, this guy, this guy probably went to the bloke's funeral when they found out that he died. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's really not without its problems, though, this film. It's really just only focusing on the torture and gore. It really just lacks any narrative or character development. It, I mean, like, sure, the couple sort of become closer, because, you know... How are you not going to when you're stuck here getting tortured daily? I mean, it's probably just about two days. <laughs> two days and then they're just done for. And, yeah, it's really just focusing on, like, the violence more than just the, like, overall narrative and tone and everything. Like, they say, like, Saw, where they have a story in there along with the violence. This is just straight, just torture and gore, which... You know, I like a good bit of gore. You know, I love seeing practical effects. I love watching the behind the scenes. This ain't it. <laughs> I don't know why, but this was not it. Um, ultimately, this is a film which is not for everyone. Like, I really don't recommend this one. I don't e I won't even give it, like, a high rating just because it's just shock value. And it isn't exactly the most highbrow horror, you know? Like, th we got stuff like Scooby-Doo 2. Which is highbrow, you know? <laughs> Monsters Unleashed. But, yeah, I mean, this is probably one of both the worst and most disgusting films I've watched this year. Didn't come out this year, you know? I don't think... I haven't really... That's the other thing. I haven't really seen a movie as gory as this in, like, a very long time. So it kind of caught me off guard. It's been, like, four or five months since I watched the Hostel movies again. And it's been about, like, two weeks since I watched the Saw movies again. 
And, you know, for me, Saw ain't that bad because I watched them religiously. But this is just something else. But hey, I've seen two films where a guy's knob gets chopped off now, so that's fun. But yeah, so ultimately, as I said, this film is not for everyone. It really lacks any, like, just, like, tension building or real, like, sympathy for anyone besides your main characters who you can't even, like, get attached to. Because they're just sort of, just, you see them, then they get killed in a brutal way. That's it. Ultimately, I think this film is just there to shock, disturb, and just push the boundaries of what torture porn is. It's really just trying to say, hey, we're going to make a messed up movie, and you're going to watch a messed up movie. Um, and that's about it. This is, this is our whole message. Ultimately, I think it is absolutely disgusting, but for fans of horror who are looking for something a bit more extreme, I'd say maybe try it out. I don't recommend it for everyone, though. If you cannot handle gore, do not watch this. If you cannot handle, like, extreme movies, do not watch this. <laughs> like, this is horribly disgusting. Ultimately, I think this film is probably very divisive. I haven't really seen many people talking about it, but it's definitely... A torture porn movie, and that's all you need to know about it. Ultimately, I give it like a 4.5 out of 10. The practical effects are bloody brilliant, but it's got no story, and it's really just there to disturb and disgust you. It's not got any real like plot narrative or tension building or anything like that. It's just death. <laughs> and yeah, you know, if you like death, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I will see you all next time.